Hey guys, it's Barry. Um, just wanted to take a couple of quick minutes, uh, 10 minutes or so, and talk to you um, about something that came up a couple days ago. And uh, that is this Versicary. Somebody posted a video of Versicary, or uh, Guns.com, I think, video of them playing with Versicary and saying how great it was and how much they love it and how wonderful it is. And so, uh, in the interest of science and of letting you guys let me make dumb mistakes and buy garbage uh, so that you don't have to. I bought one. I found it on Amazon. It was about 15 bucks. And as I sit here waiting for my um, my new uh, Dark Star Orion holster to come in, ship today, uh, I decided to take my new, new-ish Glock 19 and play with the Versicary. So um, I'm going to go through uh, what I... The, you know, first impressions talk about what it is, and then I'm going to show you guys actually how it works. So, here we go. Okay. Got this junk. Waiting on my Dark Star gear, uh, Orion, to come in, but, you know, in the interest of science, and because this came up in a, a group not long ago, first carry. Oops, as if I don't drop it. So I do have this set up for right-handed carry. It's got this little thing that comes on and off here somehow. Anyway, I put it on there. Got the little thing here. I'm gonna put my good old Glock 19 on it. This for safety purpose. This is empty. And now it's clear. So go all the way through there. Okay. So, the first thing we should note is the instructions for this, uh, number one, clearly say not to use it with a cocked and locked or uh, having a loaded round in the chamber. So, right off that, the bat, that would make this a no-go for me. But, uh, I'm going to play with it anyway. So, uh, they do say that the first couple of times that you use this, it's going to be fairly stiff. Um, as you can see, this plastic uh, plug here sort of angles in towards the backer there. Uh, that's to uh, just provide some tension to hold it in place, I guess. They also say the first couple of times you use it, there's going to get shavings. And as you can see, it's kind of shaved off a little bit. It looks a little rough already. Actually, I don't know if you can see that or not, but it is. So the idea is that after you do this a couple of times... Um, after you give it, uh, you know, the old in out, it's gonna kind of shave down to uh, fit correctly. So I've done that a few times just to kind of prep it and get it ready, give it a good fair shake. And I will tell you that even in this condition, and I think the reason they tell you not to do this with a loaded chamber is because. It's uh, pushing this gun out of battery as I try to apply the uh, holster to it. Um, I should note real quick, this is a factory Glock barrel, so this is the barrel that would normally come in it. I do have other barrels, so this is, if, if God forbid, any damage should come to this uh, barrel, uh, I'll be okay. So, here, I'm trying to put this on here, although, actually, give me a second, because that's not the uh, way it should go, because this trigger guard, quote-unquote trigger guard, set up for right-hand carry, so this is going to go inside your waistband like so, and protect the trigger from this side, like that. Now, the other side, um... Well, that's just going to be totally unprotected. Um, that's bad. So anyway, this is going to go on like so. I'm going to try to um, put this back on here again. I'm sorry, I have to I keep pointing that muzzle right at my finger, and I hate it. Ah, okay. So... There, that's how it goes. Then this goes into your pants, loops onto your belt like that. 
Uh, again, reading the uh, VersaCarry instructions, this is a uh, product to be used inside the waistband only. Number four here, the VersaCarry must be used with a belt. Hence, it has a belt clip and uh, not something that you could just put on your basketball shorts or your swim trunks or whatever. Uh, if you don't have a belt, this isn't going to work for you. Uh, years ago, I would have said that if you don't have a belt, then you're probably doing this wrong anyway. Uh, but we live in the age of things like the Enigma, and beltless carry is cool and works. So, um, but if you're doing beltless carry, this is not going to work for you. Okay, so moving on, uh, the idea is that once you have this on your belt, then your draw is just going to be simple and regular, just like any other draw. And you're going to just pull it free of the, of the Versa carry. Okay, I can't get it off. Ugh, okay. So, it came off. Um, a little more scratches, a couple more scratches on it there. Wonderful. Let's see, what does the barrel look like? Eh, the barrel looks okay. You do see a little bit of yellow inside there. That's super cool. That's exactly what you want uh, getting into your barrel when you're, uh, you know, the gun that you carry. So, that's uh, very quick first impressions. This is very difficult to both install onto the gun as well as remove from the gun. So, uh, now, gosh, if I can get it to go back again, I'm going to go put a belt on, throw this in my pants, see how it goes. Okay, so now here again, got my pants on, got belt, Aries gear, uh, Aegis belt. Uh, I'm going to shift that over to the side here for a second, make sure it's good and tightened up. All right, so they do tell you to install it onto the first to carry clip holster first, um, and then from there install into your pants. Again, this gun is still clear and empty, although I guess I can't do that there. Okay. I don't like that big plug. So then you will take it, put it into the pants. Let's see if this clip to go over. Okay, so it clips. All right, well, um, printing pretty badly right there. Okay, so normally I wouldn't carry right here. I would carry a little more towards the center line, but uh, I'm not doing this for concealment demonstration purposes, but I would like it to be a little closer. And I know if I move it over to the center line, then this printing right here is just going to be printing right here. So, no big deal. No big difference. Uh, again, the idea then being that when you need it, you just have to reach in uh, and pull the gun out. That was uh, exceptionally difficult to do. You also cannot reholster with it in there, so we'll take it back out. Put this back back on here, reinstalled, put it back there. Heaven forbid you ever need to reholster your gun. I know that you don't need to always be in a hurry to reholster, but doing it at all is going to be quite difficult. Um, Ah. Um, so I'm uh, getting more, getting a lot more yellow in there. So um, I'm not sure how many times you're supposed to do this before it supposedly loosens up, but I suppose, I don't know, I guess I'm 10 or 15 draws into this, um, attempting this. I hurt my thumb quite a bit. Uh, and I am not at the point of loosening it up. And now keep in mind that if you follow their instructions, 
After you do that super crazy difficult draw, you're going to have to rack it because they tell you not to carry with one in the chamber. So that's pretty dumb. Um, overall, again, this is just first impressions. Uh, the VersaCarry, you, uh, this is about as minimalist a design as you can get other than just the, uh, you know, trigger guard, uh, style, uh, holster uh, carrier there with the clip on them. Um, and those are going to be much preferred over this thing because just based on my, uh, one day assessment of this, it is absolute garbage and there's nothing about it that should be appealing to anybody who wants to be carrying a gun effectively, uh, comfortably and being able to get to use, draw, whatever that have that gun out and working if they need it. So again, VersaCarry, this thing costs about 15 bucks, I think. And let's see, now I can't get it back on there. And uh, what you should do with that $15 instead is go get yourself a case of beer and drink away the thought that you ever had of buying one of these. That's it.